Hey guys, Dan here, and wow, huh, right? Emergencies like that can happen at any time. And you know why they're called emergencies? Because you never know when it's gonna happen. But hey, you can at least be protected and prepared with one of these awesome PowerSmart 4400 watt power inverter generators. I'll tell you, when they sent this to me and said, hey, will you do a review of this product? I was like, absolutely. Everybody should try to get something like this. Uh, I tell you, it it's, could be life-saving, literally. You can use this thing to run refrigeration, to run air conditioning if you've got seniors in your home, um, if you've got sleep apnea and you need to run your sleep apnea machine, anything like that. These generators are a must have. Look, you might survive the fire, the flood or the hurricane, but what's the power lines gonna do? That's where something like this comes in really handy. So we're gonna go over some of the specs real quick uh, for the meat and potatoes of what actually matters to you guys. And one of the biggest things is how loud is it? If this thing's plugged in outside your back window and you run an extension cord in, are you gonna be able to sleep at night? You will, it's 68 dB. That's not very loud at all. That's about half the noise of a lawnmower. So for something like this, that's pretty awesome. Weighs about 73 pounds, just slightly under 73 pounds. Uh, it's 60 Hertz, single phase, 120 volt with a maximum of 29.2 amps. 4,400 Watts is your maximum starting uh, wattage that you know can put out. What does starting wattage mean? Okay, you ever have a refrigerator fire up and you hear like that initial and then it, it goes? That's your startup power. That's where it draws the most. An AC unit might start up and your light dims and then comes back on. It's drawing, it's starting that engine. This can hit 4,400 watts and then settle down to about 3,500 watts. That's pretty good, especially for the price. So something like this, I tell you, it's amazing. You could charge cell phones, tablets, keep your refrigerator, your window unit, your sleep apnea device, anything just about you need, you can do that. You can take this machine, you can get a qualified electrician, you can run it into the grid of your home and make yourself a safe room if you need to. It's endless when you have something of this magnitude. The link to this is gonna be in the video description and I'm also gonna have this in the comment section pinned because I want you guys to check it out even further see the price and availability in your area. Again, this is the PowerSmart 4400 watt power inverter generator. Let's get into this machine a little bit deeper and then we'll get into a demonstration. Okay, so the control panel from left to right, it's very user friendly. You got your engine switch, I is for ignition, O is for off. You have eco mode. When you run this in eco mode, it puts the, the uh, engine only at the RPMs necessary to provide enough power for what you have plugged in. So you're not gonna be wasting RPMs and in a sense, wasting fuel. So it says that in eco mode, you can run about 20 hours on a 2.5 gallon fuel tank that's on board here uh, at about a 50% load. So that's about 1700 watts of power. That's really nice. Just below that, you have your DC voltage, which is your USB right here, one amp or 2.1 amp. So a little bit faster charge, a little bit slower charge, you know, that's for your cell phones, your tablets, or anything like that that has USB power uh, or requires USB power. And like any good piece of equipment, it does have a breaker. So if something happens, instead of it frying the electronics, it'll uh, pop the breaker. Above that, you have your display screen. And we're going to go over this once we have stuff plugged in and we can actually see it. But it's got your graduated marks here for how much of a load you have on in percentage, 25, 50, 75, and 100. You got your low oil indicator. And that's really a nice feature. If something happens and the engine shuts off because the low oil switch says, hey, we're gonna shut off, we're low on oil, this will let you know, hey, you need to put oil in it, okay? And we'll go over all that a little bit later. AC breaker is really nice too for these three plugs right here. So if something happens, then you got an AC breaker right here and you didn't just fry your generator. So that's really nice. Two regular 120 volt uh, three prong little, you know, regular plugs right here. And then this is for your RV. This is up to 29.2 amps. So it's rated basically a 30 amper. Uh, and that's for, you know, plug it in your RV and stuff like that. This is not 220. Don't be confused. This is 120 up to 30 amps. Okay. Right here you have your ground. So if you're going to run this thing for an extended period of time or something, it's really a good idea. Drive a, a stake into the ground, about three feet metal stake and hook your ground up so your machine's grounded and, and it'll help ground the equipment that you have plugged in, prevent electrocution, kind of important. And then right here you have your parallel connectors. So you could take another unit such as this and you can run two units together and that's gonna go ahead and help provide you with more power. And maintenance is a snap. Add your fuel, 
87 octane or above, about 2.5 gallon tank, will allow this generator run for about 20 hours on eco mode. And it comes with a built-in fuel gauge to let you know how much fuel you got before you run out. Check and keep your engine oil full. It holds 20.3 ounces of conventional engine oil. And in the manual, you follow this little chart right here, depending on your temperatures, what type of oil you're gonna put in it. For me, I'm gonna put 10W40. And it comes with a convenient funnel. And a dipstick so you always know where your oil level is at. You can easily reach the spark plug right here and it even comes with a fancy little tool to help you get it off, clean, inspect, or replace, depending on what you need. And a really nice feature is the air cleaner has a washable foam element, not a paper element like the competition. So you can wash this with warm detergent and let it dry and put it right back. Emergencies don't always happen in the cleanest environment. So it's nice to have an air cleaner that you can wash and replace and keep the power running. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and fire this up for its first time. You got a fuel shutoff switch right here to keep the fuel in the tank and not pressurizing your carburetor or causing any issues. So we'll turn on the fuel right here. This is your choke right here. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and put the choke on because this is considered a cold start. And then from here, you got your on off switch, that red switch I showed you guys earlier in the video. So you make sure that's on I for ignition. And then you pull the cord. Once it fires up, turn off the choke. It's pretty quiet. Okay, now that we got this thing fired up, you see the display panel has one green light on. That means it is operational and it's ready to be plugged in to whatever you need the power. And that's how you shut it off. Then from here, turn off the fuel switch on the other side that comes from the tank down to the carburetor and you're good to go. All right, so what we're gonna do now, I'm gonna fire this thing back up. I'm gonna go ahead and plug in this one extension cord that goes to a power strip. That power strip is gonna be powering my war room, okay? That's my emergency room. So when we have an emergency and we don't have power, we can all be in one room and we can all be safe and comfortable. We're gonna have a tablet charging. We're gonna have a television playing. We're gonna have a game console playing for the kids. We're gonna have some smelly stuff for the wife with humidifiers and stuff like that. We got lights, we got chairs, and we got a window unit air conditioner to keep the room comfortable. All that's gonna be run on this machine right here and we'll check to see what the load is. Remember, this thing can also run a refrigerator, a chest or freezer, or anything like that. Now, some appliances are not gonna show you its wattages. It's gonna show you its voltage and its amps. Well, if you take volts times amps, that's your watts, all right? So that's how you can also figure that out. Well, we're gonna fire this up. We're gonna plug this in and we're gonna go inside. We're gonna shut the door and we're gonna see how loud this is while we're comfortable in our war room. Okay. We got the green light, so we know we're good to go. Okay, I know it's very difficult to see, and it might be difficult to hear me, but right here, we got everything plugged in. The air conditioner's running, the television, the game console, the light, and the smelly stuff for the wife. Uh, the things that she wants for her comfort. Everything's running. We're not even at 25% power. So we can still keep adding on so much more. We even have a tablet charging right now with the screen on. Uh, right here, you can't see it because of the lighting, but it's actually showing me that it's outputting at 122.7 volts AC. The only thing left to do now is go inside, shut the door, and let's see how loud this is while it's running with the load. But before we do that, I'm gonna switch it to economy mode. Now the RPMs just calm down. It's in fuel saver mode and it's still producing enough power for everything that we have plugged in to be comfortable in the event of an emergency. 122.7 volts, even on eco mode. Let's go inside. Okay, everybody, so welcome to our future war room. As you can see, it's under construction still, but we got the window unit running. The screen is on silent or, or is on quiet. It was at 79, now it's down to 77 and it is cooling and we have the temperature set at 71. 
So the air compressor is running and it is cooling. We got the tablet plugged in. We got the TV doing demo mode with the PS3. We're playing some Major League Baseball today. We got a light going on over here that's uh, plugged into the power strip right here. The, the tablet's charging. The smelly stuff is smelly. I mean, everything's looking good. We got the dog food in the corner so the pets can come in here. We can add a lot more if we need to. We weren't even at 25% power and that's with the window unit running. So you could plug in your refrigerator, run an extension cord in. Uh, I would run it from the kitchen straight out to the machine though. I wouldn't run it through here and overheat this. But yeah, run an extension out to the refrigerator. And even then we might be at 50% power. We could still run in eco mode, 4,400 watts, starting power, 3,500 watts, regular power. That thing is amazing. And listen, you can't even hear it. The only thing you hear is the fan blowing from the air conditioner. We're gonna do one more test because my friend asked me to do this actually. He said, hey Dan, a lot of people have a refrigerator in their house and then they have a separate freezer or something in their garage. And I was like, well, I have that. Actually, I have a refrigerator and two separate freezers in my garage. And he said, well, why don't you plug in a couple of them and see what's gonna happen? And I said, okay, let's do that. But before I did it, I checked the wattage to make sure I wasn't gonna cause any damage to this and possibly damage to my appliances. And so if your label doesn't directly say what your wattage is, then what you do is you take your voltage times the amps. And when I do that with this label and I do that with my Chester freezer right here, that label, it comes up to 800 watts. Okay, so what we're gonna do is you see the doors open, the light is off, we're plugged in to a power strip right here. It's on, it's ready to go. So we're gonna fire up the machine and we're gonna check to see if that 800 watts even registers 25% usage of this awesome generator. Remember, it's about 35, 3600 regular watts being pushed out with 4400 watt, watts starting power. So if the compressors kick on at the same time, boom, 4400 watts delivered and then it settles down to 3600. So hey, 900 watts is 25%. Let's see if we can even illuminate 25% when we go on with this test. I bet we don't. Turn the switch on, choke on, choke off. Here's the plug. Turn off economy mode. You see we're ready, we got the green light. And here, when we plug something in, it's gonna say that we've got output, something is being powered, and then 25, 50, 75, and 100%. We got output, the light turned on, everything's running, and we're not even at 25%. Okay, so that first little hiccup was the probably the refrigerator turning on, and that next little hiccup was probably this compressor turning on, and we're probably still not at 25%. By the way, we're standing right in the exhaust. How loud is it? Not that bad. And we're not even at 25%. This thing's amazing. I'm so happy to have done a review on this machine because I think it's something that everybody should have. I'm gonna to link to it in the video description. It goes directly to their Amazon. I'm gonna link, link to it in the comment section. Again, directly to their Amazon. Check it out, check out the price and availability. See what it's gonna to take to get you into one of these so your next emergency might be a little bit more comfortable. All right, so thank you guys very much and I'll see you on the next one.